Well, hello everyone, and welcome back here to the Rim World. Now, as promised, this is episode 6, and I have installed a few mods, and those mods are the Power Switch mod, which allows you, funny enough, to make a power switch. And I understand that that one is going to be included in Alpha 9, so that's fairly mainstream. The right tool for the drop, which gives you another workbench, which allows you to create axes and pickaxes and something else. I can't remember what. It speeds up various act um, activities such as uh, mining, logging and uh, construction. That's it. Sledgehammer. And um, finally, uh, the expanded crops compatible version, which uh, is going to give us extra crops. Uh, extra crop types. It's not really that... Um, life altering but it's going to give us tomatoes, lettuce and carrots so uh, it gives us a chance to uh, sort of mix things up a little bit so I'm going to be uh, creating some new farmland down here to take advantage of the new types during the course of this episode and uh, perhaps do a little bit more on the defences here and if I can get the crematorium installed in here we need to put an extra uh, solar power uh, um, solar power thing there, and uh, um, if we can get so the hospital and crafting rooms up together. So there's plenty to do. So let's crack on with it, shall we? So first thing we're going to do is just get that bit mined out there, and I think the rest of that can stay. And I think we get that bit mined out as well. Okay, and so just mine it out like that, like that. Okay, excellent. There's a, an unclaimed item there. So we'll have that put back into the game so we can order it. I think it's changed the graphic on the potatoes. I do much I do like the look of that. That looks much nicer. So that's good. And let's get some more orders. Let's get a um, bit of this area cleared out down here so we can start um, making some more farmland down there. Oop. Okay, so trade ship is passing by, an exotics goods trader. We will. I think we want someone to look at that. Emmy as our warden. So as soon as she's finished. She can do that, and some tribes people have uh, decided to attack with perfect timing. So, where are they? Right, four of them. Do we have a defensive position? I suppose we can use the trees for cover. Yeah, I think we'll be all right. Okay, so Emmy, finish your meal. That's it, and let's go and have a chat with these ew, exotic goods traders. Okay. So we can sell off some tribal wear, and we can sell off that short bow. That gives us a bit of extra money. And I don't think there's anything that they have that we can afford at the moment. So we'll take the money and run. All right, okay, so let's just have a quick look at where we are. Okay, uh, Emmy is a pacifist, so she's unarmed. Uh, yes, incapable of violent. Galga has a pistol. Clara is our cook, but has a pistol. Herdina has a... Yep, okay, I think everyone is armed. Who's going to be armed, so... We're organised there. Oh, there's an opportunity here, thinking about it. Um, cancel. So we cancel there, and cancel there, and cancel there. That will give them some cover to hide behind when the attack happens. Uh, good. So let that chug on. Oh, I see. You're getting stuff from there, are you? I 
see we're going to have to start uh, making some sandstone walls as well. Right, people from the Watsit thingy are starting their attack. So we don't want Emmy because she's a pacifist. We'll draft the rest. As usual, they decide that they do need to do this at uh, bedtime, of course. It's very clever of them, very helpful. So let's get everyone in position as best we can. Okay, so actually, Clara, I think I want you to go here. And that can be your cover as they come up this way. And Ben, here, Galga. is going to be difficult. Hardina, you go there. Galga, you go there. It's probably the best we're going to do with you because that rock is in the way. Right. Galga, actually, you come down here. And Hardina here. Yeah, that gets you guys in range. That's excellent. Move you forward a little bit so you're behind that tree. What state are you in? I think you're starting to get a bit hurt. Oh, not that bad. Okay. Alright. Ben, you're doing okay. I want you to move forward a little bit. You can only go there. One down. One pretty hurt. Galga, okay, you're getting in a pretty bad state. I think I want you to fall back. If you could do that without getting dead, that would be good. Herdina, mm, your weapon's not very good for ranged attacks, is it? So you move up a little bit. Can you see them there? No? Okay, I want you to fall back as well. And the other two have decided that discretion is the better part of valor. Okay. Right. Let's undraft you guys. Who is the doctor? Our doctor is Galga. So... I think we're actually going. I think well, it looks like we're going to have to go for a backup doctor, and that could be Clara. There we go. And Ben, let's clear these guys down. Uh, you guys go. You go. You're going to a, a hospital bed. And so are you. Excellent. And if you would strip this one as well. We could have used a prisoner from there, but uh, it was not to be. And we'll have those short bows to sell. And Clara. What are you wearing? You're wearing a pair of synth thread trousers and nothing else. You're researching. No, I want you to prioritize healing Galga. And then Galga can do the rest of the healing. Who was shooting there? No, no, don't care. Fair enough, that's good enough for me. Right, we survived that one fairly well. Mental break soon. Who needs it? Oh, Ben, because he swore all those corpses. Some cargo pods. Oh. Oh. We'll have those. Okay. Galga is getting treated by Clara, who's not very good at it. Right, so we'll take Clara off doctoring now, because Galga is back. And Galga 
He's gonna look after Herdina. Perfect. So let's get the last little bits here mined. Yes, let's get these mined. Like that. And then we are so actually we're ready to start putting some walls in here. Structure. Hold up, cancel that. Steel conduit wall. No, we want limestone conduit wall. So we'll have the wall there, the wall there. Oh, no. Cancel that. And we'll have that wall there. And oh, what the hell? Like that. Like that. Like that. And let's uh, make some spaces in there instead. Like that. Like, like. Once that's built, we can actually use this as cover until the proper security system is finished. So that will be us moving forwards. Okay, Herdina is clearing some of those trees. That's marvellous. We detected some more cargo pods. Mm. No, perhaps we'll pick that up later on. But right now, we don't need it. Okay, and I think we actually need to start thinking seriously about making a hospital. And I'm going to get someone to mine out this room here. And we'll put the, uh, the hospital in there when it's done. Unfortunately, Ben is also our miner, so he's going to be a bit occupied for a minute. But he'll get round to it. And this area is being cleared out quite quickly by Herdina. That's wonderful. And fairly soon we'll part up putting some more farmyard. We'll probably use this space still to cook, uh, to farm potatoes, at least this year. I want to fill this freezer up, if we can do it. It's Ben's birthday. He just turned 30. Well, congratulations. Have a potato. In fact, let's be generous. Have two potatoes. Oh, he's done a good job here. Yeah, this is all being put together quickly. Right. And when this area is cleared, I think I'll get Herdina to clear up here as well, but this area first. Mental break soon. Ben is still not happy. Why are you not happy, Ben? Apart from the potatoes. Oh, it's because you can see those corpses down there, is it? Uh, you'll get over that. Build a wall, then you won't have to look at them again. It'll be wonderful. And Clara is catching up with the cooking, and now she's doing some more research. And we will have a cremation skill there fairly soon. So, once that's done, we'll build a crematorium here. And I think I want to put some batteries in this ante room. And then... Uh, And there's a slave trader. Well, we don't have any money, so I'm not going to bother because we still have a bit of. Yeah, we still have quite a bit of medicine. Medicine, by the way, is fairly cheap on slave traders, from what I understand. So that's it. Keep up the good work, Clara. Keep up the good work, Ben. Once we got this built, yep, we're starting to look defensible, which is pretty good, I'd say. And Emmy, see, -A oh, Emmy's doing a good job here. That's marvelous. Once that's done, we actually orders whole things. Let's get those that bit that rubble out of the way. Not that there seems to be much space. So I think we're going to do another bill here and add bill, make stone blocks. This one here. Now I only want I only want sandstone done here. So the idea here is we will make 
limestone blocks and in fact we'll change the value of that and we'll make sandstone blocks until you have a hundred sounds about right and we'll change this one until you have until you have recipe does not have oh I see okay all right try that until you have it has multiple or unpredictable products it shouldn't have unpredictable products All right, let's let's start off. Let's edit this one. I actually want to get that down when I'm thinking about it. All right, so let's try editing this one again. And if it doesn't read it, we will delete it until you have X. Right, okay. Mm. Gotta love it when it does this. Uh, make stone blocks. Configure do until you have oh I see I see I see I see I see I see okay All right do if you ever make that a priority alright make that a priority I think I'm starting to understand this now okay do that forever make that a priority and then I want you to make Uh, to actually granite if we we find it like that so granite or limestone if there is that make bricks out of it otherwise make stone uh, limestone bricks if there is less than a hundred okay that makes sense I think <sighs> if it makes sense please let me know what I've just done oh good that's done right excellent so Mental break, how oh, Ben, yes, he keeps on going out here and looking at these bodies. Uh, can't be helped, but it'll be fixed soon. That area is getting close to being cleared out. Hardina's doing a fantastic job there. Okay, excellent. Uh, so, right, let's get some. All right, wood doors here and here and that doesn't bode well a large piece of an ancient ship has crashed nearby your colonists can feel it in the back of the mind exhorting unspeakable acts it must have an onboard AI persona with a psychic projection ability and this AI is not friendly destroy it as soon as possible oh we are in no way ready for this on the bright side though it's fairly close to our base. Hmm. We've researched mortars. Let's build some mortars. Security. Steel mortar. And let's put them up here. One there. One, two, three there. One, two, three there. Yep, yeah, we got enough metal for that. And when those are built, we'll start getting people on them and start shelling that. So autumn has begun. It's Herdina's birthday today. She's just turned 39. Good age, 39. Right, okay, so. Right. The only slight problem I have here is if Ben gets all grumpy about those corpses again, which is possible. This uh, psychic terror thing might push him over the edge, but no, he's decided he wants to do a mortar instead. I can't say I blame him. Tell you what, as a reward, Ben, what state are you in? I think you're in pretty good shape. Why don't you start off the uh, the bombardment and we'll get this guy to 
go there. My only worry about this is this is actually so very close to the walls. We might actually bomb our own walls, which would be really not nice. I have to be careful about this. If Oh, is that all we're getting? Yes, that's all we're getting. Excellent, right. Uh, not you, because you're a pacifist. So it's you guys. Let's draft you. Let's get you here. Yeah, I think I'm missing someone. Yep, Galga. Draft you as well. Get you here. Yep, yeah, he's going for an all out attack. I think I'm going to get you guys into defensive positions in time. It's going to be tight. It's going to be a little too tight. Hack off. That's it. Right. Let's find ourselves some cover here. And we can say hello when he breaks through that door. It means we've got to replace the door. I think it's a small price to pay, really, isn't it? Uh, Hardina. Hang on, you go there. Galga. You go here. Right. Let's let him break down that door. He's decided that hiding behind those rocks is the better part of Valor. You go there. You go there. Clara, you go and stand in the middle of this copse. You can play cops and robbers. Uh, yeah, that was really bad. Sorry. Yeah, okay. So you, you've broken into our compound and now you're trying to run away. Your logic is impeccable, sir. The only thing I can think that you're doing sensibly here is actually making it harder for us to stand behind cover. Yeah. Come on, you can do it, guys. Excellent, right. Right, we'll get that into a movable state, and while we're at it, let's get you guys down here and shoot this thing so it stops giving everyone a bad buzz. Interesting how landing this landing has created snow. That is snow, isn't it? Yeah, look, snow, thick snow around it. Odd. Why do I have people standing here? Because the uh, marshland makes people walk slowly. And Clara, you can go there. So, guys, start shooting the thing. There we go. That won't take. Yeah, that won't take long now. Was a nice milestone. We we will now very soon have an AI call, which is going to help immensely. And, uh, yeah, Emmy's keeping the food up together. That's good. I think I want to change the priorities while I'm thinking about it. And while they're doing that, right, Emmy has been. Prioritizing crafting over everything else. Um, Clara is our. Okay, so Clara is doing our research. Okay, that's alright. 
So if Clara's not cooking, she should be uh, researching, which is probably the best we're going to do right now. Right, we'll get this guy done, and then I think we're going to call it an episode. There we go. Good work, guys. Why don't you take a little break? There. Did you enjoy it? Well done. Okay. So that's that done. Next episode. Get the infirmary laid out. And we'll get some farming in down here. And hopefully we'll have some time to start getting some security turrets in here. But all in all, I would say that was a pretty productive episode. Even though you didn't really get to see any of the mods, I do apologise about that. Perhaps next time. Anyway, until then, I've been Simon Parsons. This has been the Rimworld. Thank you. And good night.